Hello everyone. In this uh, video, uh, we're going to go over discovering um, AutoCAD 2017-2020 and this is chapter two. Uh, the drawing is drawing two to center wheel. As you see here, um, this is a drawing. Okay. Um, the book suggested here to use a one way and as I always um, tell you that there are several ways to do uh, the same job. So you can follow instructions from the book, you can uh, apply what you've learned in this chapter, and all the ways are great. Just find the best way for you to do the job. In this video, I will show you one way to draw this exercise. The first thing here, I'm gonna make sure that all the things are off down here we don't need anything on i only make on the um the grid display uh, just to see these lines on the model space then after that i'll walk you through the rest to start with this exercise um i need to mention here that this symbol is the diameter of the circle okay so whenever you see this symbol it's that diameter it's not the radius Okay, uh, another here uh, thing here, we do have some start points. Okay, we do have some start points that this should start at 9.5 um, and this should uh, start at 3.5. Um, also, I need to mention that not always um, the start point are necessary. Sometimes they are not necessary. You can start at any point in the model space and you complete the drawing. And then when you need to print out, you can uh, plot um, the space that you want. However, let's start drawing this. And for this exercise, we're gonna use two commands. We're gonna use line and circle. And the circle command that we will use is center and diameter. Okay, let's start. We will start by drawing this little circle here. And as you see, we don't have uh, the diameter. We just have the start center 3.545, but the diameter, we can take it from the side view, which is uh, 0.25. So let's start here, center diameter. Um, look at the command line specify center point. At this one, we need to um, enter 3.54 since they ask us to start at this point. 3.5 comma 4.5 hit the enter button. Now, if we zoom out, we can zoom out using um, the middle button of your mouse. Okay, so you can zoom out and you can pan, just put um, the picture or the drawing where uh, a good place for you. Uh, the little circle down is the diameter and to keep an eye on the command line, specify radius of circle or diameter, specify diameter circle is four, I don't need it four, it's 0 0.5, so point, uh, or sorry, it's 0 0.25, so point to 25, you just type point to 25, hit enter, and this is the little circle. Now I need to draw the middle circle here. Also, I don't have the diameter, so I need to look to the side of you. The diameter is four. I repeat the same command, center diameter. I need to use the same center. Here, it's very important to use the object snap, okay? The object snap, you can find it right here. It's F3 button, uh, or just make it effective. Click on it so it is on and use this little arrow to make sure that we do have the center on. Okay, so put a check next to the center because we need the same center of another circle. Now, specify the center. Now, if you come close to this circle, you can pick the center of the circle. Um, and here the diameter is four. You type four on the command line. You hit enter, so we finish the second circle. Now, we need to draw the third circle, the larger circle, we repeat the same thing. Circle, center diameter, we are still in the home tab, center diameter, we need to pick the same center, it's very important, so keep the object snap on and uh, go a little bit 
somewhere over this circle or the second circle, as you see, again, I zoom in here. So when you go, you see this plus sign coming in the middle, you come close and you click. Now you can zoom out if you want, just make it uh, comfortable for you. And uh, the diameter here is six, so you put six. Be sure you're using the circle center diameter, not the radius, okay? Six, enter. So we finish drawing uh, this three circles. Let's zoom out and pan a little bit. Now, after that, we need to make this side view. The first thing here, uh, they said that we need to start at 9.5, 1.5. Uh, so let's uh, start the command line, okay? A specify start point, we can put here 9.3, uh, comma 1.3 and hit enter then we need to continue now if i look here i i need to draw horizontal line in autocad accuracy here is very important you need to be very accurate so uh, you have two options you can put the ortho mode or you can put the polar tracking i'm gonna put the polar tracking for now and make it on as now you see that I have some reference lines indicating that I'm, I'm drawing horizontal lines. I give the direction, I'm going to the right direction, then I type on the command line 1.5, hit enter, go up. Uh, the distance here is um, six because it's the same like the diameter, so it's six, okay. Uh, so from here, I need to go up six. So I type six, uh, 1.5, enter, and then you close. And again, when you close, be sure that you are taking the object snap. If you don't see this object snap, make sure that you do have endpoint and midpoint. Um, I recommend having endpoint and midpoint as well. That is useful. So here I get the endpoint of the line. Okay, so I finish uh, this part. Now I need to um, have some lines here. As you see this line coming directly from the top of the circle. In this case, I recommend using object snap, uh, which is the quadrant point. I get line and here's the quadrant point. And this is what I mean, this diamond shape. From here, I cannot get this line. The easiest way to get this line is to have uh, the object snap tracking on. So click on the object snap tracking. And now if you go to line and this is the quadrant, you get a reference line to track this object snap. And here you go, I got this point because I have the object snap of intersection. Okay, so I have here the intersection on. Again, I will get a line, I have the quadrant, I get the reference line, I hit the intersection, I get another object snap here, I hit this point. I go to the left and here the distance uh, is uh, 0.5. So I type 0.5, enter. I go down and the distance here is four. Type four, enter and go right. And here again, when you hit the object snap, you get the point, okay? We will repeat the same steps doing the other side. I'll get line command, specify first point. I'll get this intersection because I have the object snap on and the intersection on. Now I go to the right and um, the distance is 0.5. Go down, the distance is four. Go left and hit the object snap. I'm gonna show you here. So get, and when you see this X, that is the intersection. You click on it and that's it. What's left here? This little piece and this little piece. Let's uh, draw them, get um, line. And here also I recommend using uh, 
the quadrant because this line comes from the top and we have the object snap tracking on. So I get this intersection. I do have all this object snap. So I get the point exactly. Okay, now after that, I need to go to the left. So let's repeat that again. Make sure that you have the object snap on, you have the object snap tracking on. With the object snap, you have the quadrant on. Okay, also you need the intersection on. So draw line, get this quadrant on the top, go to the right, hit the intersection, click. Now go to the left. And here we have one, get direction to the left, type one, go down and get the reference line. Point 25, as you see in the picture. Now, enter. Now you go to the right and be sure that you are using the uh, object snap tracking and the intersection object snap, hit this point. Again, we just need to uh, finish that little part here, and this distance is 0.5. So get a line, and I will track this point. Use the object snap tracking, get that one, 0.5, enter. Go down, use the reference line, 0.25, and go left and hit that point. Okay, uh, so here you go. We just used uh, the the circle diameter, and uh, what we used lines. We used object snaps. Here we have a lot of object snaps. The one that we used today is center. We use quadrant. We use extension, and there are a lot. I really encourage you to see what this object snap doing. Also, what we had the tracking. As you see here, um, the polar tracking is very important to track any angles and to draw horizontal, vertical, and other degrees that you will experience later in other exercises that you can track any angles you have. Uh, also, what we use is the object snap tracking that to get the quadrant or end point or track any point. Uh, thank you for watching and this was drawing two, three, chapter two um, and I really uh, enjoyed working with you. Looking forward to work with you again in uh, future exercises. Thank you.